Well, look, Roger. You can see the moon. What's up, everybody, and welcome. We're actually uh, getting ready to head down to Bradington here. We got to go to Pier 77. But first, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what's happening. Obviously, the title shows that uh, changes are happening here, and unfortunately, this will be my last video with quality boats because Marine Max made me an offer I can't refuse. They're Long story short, quality won't match what they're offering me. It's basically the same job, I'm allowed to film, do all that stuff, so we're going to be moving from quality to Marine Max. And we got a whole new set of boats to deal with. It's all the same parts between boats, so it's not a big deal. We'll still be able to fix stuff and I'll show you everything that I can. It's always the same. Unfortunately, I know I might lose some of you just because I deal with the Pursuit and Grady White and Regal and those brands are not going to be in, in the videos anymore. We might see those as trade-ins, stuff like that, but we're going to be dealing with the Boston Whaler now and some of these other yachts that they carry. So it's going to be a whole different set of boats. Should be fun, interesting to uh, learn about those. Anyway, uh, I apologize if uh, this deters some of you from wanting to come back to my videos, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. So anyway, I will see you guys down at uh, Pier 77 to look at some boats. <laughs> Roger, we made it. Safe Harbor Marina. Alright, so we're looking at a 326 dual council pursuit. He's getting it down, he's gonna put it on a rack behind the building. We'll let him get it down here and jump on and see what's going on here. There it is. Good looking boat. Alright, so we're making a quick stop here. There's not uh, much going on with this boat. We want to look and see why his backup camera is not working. I guess the stereo is not working. So we'll check that out real quick. That's basically it. I'm here also to uh, drop off some of this canvas here. I guess they were owed canvas. So let's start with the uh, stereo here. Turn some batteries on. Well, I can already see a problem here. That's not good. Need more than six volts for things to work. Let's combine them. All right, so we got a good electronics battery. So we got a bad house. Unfortunately, I don't have any batteries with me because I got Roger today. That also makes sense. Why well, you said the stereo is not working, and now it is. None of this stuff would work without that. So let's just make sure. all working all right so we'll leave this alone for now it needs a battery for sure let's go into here as he says his backup camera is not working let's see what side it's on not media the vessel mode here the video all right so we got nothing showing up here or here Let's look behind the dash and make sure we're not getting power from behind the dash. If not, we're going to have to check out right there where the camera's at and pull and see if we got power to it. I always like Pursuit's dash. Very nice to work on. Well, coming back here, looks like we have video in here on our port Garmin. The starboard one doesn't have anything, so this is going to be our main, which it's networked, so it would mirror to that one anyways. It really doesn't matter. All right, so following our wire, looks like it's going to go down into the rig tube here. So we're going to have to look at the camera. So we'll, let's see if we can find the power at the camera. All right, let's pull the speaker down. Hopefully we can get to the uh, wiring that way. I think our connection's off. You never want to hang a speaker by the wires. All right, so here is our power connection for the camera. 12 volts. And then our lead that connects to the dash is right here. It looks like we got good connection. They got it taped off. So if we have power here, that means the camera's bad. So 
So let's check. All right, I got a touch in the power and ground and we got nothing. Okay, so we have no power here. And my guess is that it leads up, goes down our tube here, and then back to our battery panel, which is right here. So we can open this up and get inside there. So let me get this open and we'll check it out. Okay, so let's go in the hole here. I think we can see where the wire is coming out. It's kind of dark in here, but looking at that wire, that's kind of free by itself all the way to the right. That's the red and yellow wire for our camera. And it goes all the way into this bundle. It goes all the way through here. And it leads up front, which makes me think that it's going to go towards the middle of the boat and over to the dash. So let's follow the leader here. If we go into the floor. Let's see if we can see anything running through here. There's a bundle of wires there. It looks like everything is leading up to the dash here for us. You know, all those wires down there, that's where it comes through. Alright, looking here, I honestly don't see where this wiring comes through here. There's nothing on our fuse block. So I'm going to have to get a hold of Pursuit and see where they wire this thing where it leads to because I got nothing. Nothing in this dash here is showing me camera. I would think that it would come up through here somewhere through all this harnesses that are down here, you know, anywhere through here, but you only got black cables and everything's covered up. All right, for the sake of uh, not tearing this boat apart anymore, I need a battery anyway, so I don't have one. I'll get a hold of Pursuit. We'll see where that tail leads to because I definitely don't want to start ripping things apart. This thing's brand new. They'll tell me exactly where that uh, power on ground ends up. I don't see it anywhere in the dash. I don't see it in the floor. I can only see it basically where it's coming out of the tube here. So. We'll have to get back to this boat, put a battery in it, and we'll know where that goes. Because I'm sure the camera works, it just doesn't have power. So let me throw the speaker back in here, and then we'll go venture into the marina real quick before we call it a day. Bye-bye, Pursuit. I'll see you next time, maybe. Unless I don't make it back to you before I end up at Marine Max. Let's roll in here, see what we got. I do see one thing that I really like, this MTI right here. What's it sitting next to? A Sea Hunt. These boats are everywhere. I love this boat. It's one of my favorite boats ever. The old Cat MTI, twin 450s. Look at these blades. This thing runs like 130 miles an hour, or something like that. Maybe one day I'll have one. But for now, it's out of my budget. It's got some cool graphics on it too. Ooh, we're sitting next to a whaler. That's my future. We're going to be seeing a lot of these, I'm sure. Oh, Tierra. I'll miss you guys. Tierra's a good brand. CV, nice boat. Unsinkable Monterey. I don't know about that. Intrepid. Nice boat, too. Locally built in Largo. Another whaler. I'm gonna have to get used to these boats. Oh, and we got a Sea Ray. This will be another one of the boats I'm gonna be working on. A lot more Mercuries in the videos, I'm sure, too, since it's all Brunswick. Andros, another local company that built a nice boat. Ooh, Formula. I always like Formula. I just wish they would go the outboard route and not always have these inboards in them, but. I guess you can't always do that when you need to have over a thousand horsepower or whatever. I have seen some of them that have the 600s on them already. World Cat. I've heard good and bad about World Cat, but I like them. What do we got outside here? Everglades. They're nice boats. That's a Tom George boat group. Cobalt. I know these guys make nice boats. I've seen this step over here. It's pretty cool. A unique idea folds down it's like a platform that folds up got a little lock on it thought that was pretty clever and Carolina skiff you know durable boats you basically can just beat the crap out of these things and just keep going it's another big formula another big whaler it's got to be an older one because it has Verados you know, no more superchargers on these motors. 
Ooh, a Regal. Another boat that will be gone out of my videos. I know a lot of you watch them for that boat. I'm sorry. Another Regal. Definitely an older one because we got Volvos in it. Old Sun Dancer. Ooh, look at this thing. Look at that pretty color on it. This is a Chris Craft. Chris Craft got bought out a while ago and they redesigned them and they still build a really awesome boat. I really like that color. We got a Scout next to it. Scout always reminds me of Grady White with the color that they use on everything. Next to a Jupiter. I've heard good about Jupiter. They make some pretty cool big boats too. Another Scout. Sea Fox. These guys have come a long way. I remember when they first started, they only made little boats. And they make some pretty big ones now. And Grady White. I definitely miss these guys. I like Grady. They're one of my favorites. The Everglades. We look, folding tower. That's cool. Everglades built a nice boat, I know. I've been to the factory a few times. I used to work on them back in the day. Our last one, Grady White. Well, that's it for our little marina tour there. And uh, again, apologize if uh, this detours you from my videos because I'm going to our competitor, but again, they've made me an offer that I can't refuse, unfortunately. We'll have another little Oscar we'll rename. We've got a whole another series of boats to look at, so it should be pretty fun. But our next video is going to be a Marine Max, so my last day basically is next week, so I'm not gonna put a video out for another week and a half. You'll see me at Marine Max and we'll check it out together. So as always, I appreciate everybody watching and I will see you next time. Later. Roger, look, it's a pirate ship. <laughs>